and welcome back to a very special edition of Jude's World. Now, today is Tuesday the 14th of April. The sun rose this morning at four minutes past six and the sun will be setting tonight at five past eight. Now, today is a very special day. First of all, I wanted to say a very big hello to Roz North, who worked at the Yorkshire Trading Centre in Selby. Very big hello to you, Roz. And we've got some birthdays today. Happy ninth birthday to Phoenix Hewitt, who is nine today. Happy birthday, Phoenix. Happy twelfth birthday, Harry Hurst. Uh, Becky Brindley is 25 today, so happy birthday, Becky. And happy birthday, Dave Wilson, who is the big 6-0. And it's not only their birthdays, because on this day in 1972, I was born. Woohoo! It's my birthday today, everybody. And obviously my original plans for going to uh, the cinema have basically uh, gone up the chute. So obviously we are in lockdown, so that means I can't really go anywhere, um, except round the corner shop. Um, so however, I wanted to, to document this day so that we can look back in years to come and we can say this was the year that we were on lockdown. However, enough about that. We've got some cartons and presents to open. So let's get a wriggle on with it, shall we? So now, first of all, I received uh, this card from Moonpig.com. I received it absolutely ages ago and I've been busting to open it. So. Now I've, I've absolutely no idea what, what. my videos so there we are that is an absolutely superb card from tina thank you tina right so next we have i think this looks like a card from liz Ooh. oh that's a beautiful card isn't it oh look at that it's very pretty isn't it uh liz does a lot of uh homemade cards so that's, that's, that's really nice. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, my phone's going. Sorry, I've got to answer. Okay, right, I'm back. That was the phone. So, uh, that, uh, right. So, the next card. Ooh. <clears throat> ah, I like this. This has come from my friend Debs. Hi, Debs, if you're watching. As far as she was concerned, chocolate was healthy. Now, this is the theory I like to work on. Chocolate comes from cocoa. Therefore, cocoa comes from a plant. And that makes chocolate a salad. I like your thinking. Thank you, Debs. <clears throat> there we are. Right, so that's that one now. Here comes the next one. Ooh, Ooh this is pretty. There we go. And this has come from Rachel, Bren uh, Brenda and Alan. Hi, guys. Thank you very much for the beautiful card. So there's another one. Now, this, I recognise the writing on this. This is from my sister, who will be watching at some point. Hello, Anne. So there's that. 
And here is a card from my mum and dad. to presents everybody so now this has come from my friend diane at work whose birthday also is today happy birthday diane so yummy yummy yum now this has come from my friend liz so we're gonna open it oh i'll say like pasta parcel, isn't it? <gasps> oh, look at that. We have a lint bunny. Thank you very much, Liz. So we have a lint bunny. <gasps> oh, look at this. Ah, oh. Oh, I'll say. Oh, 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 he's nice and fluffy, isn't he? beautiful mm. right so there we go oh he's nice and soft there we go right so there's that now these in here are from my mum and dad yes here we go right so i've got no idea what order all of this lot's coming in so ah 30 years of wallace and gromit now, I asked for some very, very mature DVDs. So, this is Wallace and Gromit. So, this one's the first one. So, you've got uh, a grand day out. We've got the wrong trousers, a close shave, and a matter of loaf and death. All sounds jolly good and exciting. So. Ah! And continuing our mature DVD theme, we have uh, Shaun the Sheep Farmageddon, and we have got the Shaun the Sheep movie. Ooh, that sounds fun. So, again, I'm looking forward to watching that. Now, everywhere look wallace and gromit and the curse of the weir rabbit or the were rabbit sorry the curse of the were rabbit there we are that actually is a very very good film actually because i've seen that so there you go. and this one <laughs> oh here it is frozen frozen one and two wonderful this is wonderful so it's like so it's like so it's like we've got both of them so that'll be good and finally i wonder what this bad boy is Grief, this has been wrapped up well, hasn't it? Uh, <coughs> Ooh! Here's a bit more chocolate. Oh, there we are. There we are. Yummy, yum, yum. There we are. Right, so, uh, that concludes present opening for now. So, what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and have some breakfast, and we will see what pops up a little bit later. Right, so we're having a very mature breakfast, people. Rice Krispies, snap, crackle and pop. Right, so continuing the theme for today, um, 
uh, this afternoon I am uh, conducting what I like to call uh, shameless birthday tweeting. So this is where I uh, tweet celebrities and I see whether any of them answer me back. And the first one I have got is from Anthony Costa. So thank you, Anthony. Uh, he's always very good, actually. So I'm going to try and move this up. Ah, oh, there we are. I've also heard from Connor Calland. He plays Jordan Price in Hollyoaks. So, thank you very much, Connor. And when I can get back up the other way. Ah, yes, Lizette Anthony. Uh, Marnie Nightingale. Uh, she liked my tweet there. Oh, I've had another like tweet there from Connor Calland as well. So I seem to be doing quite well so far. So I shall let you know of any more progress that I make. Right, so I've come outside into the garden now for a change of scenery for a minute. This is very exciting stuff. Uh, I would also like to wish happy birthday to Laura Lund, Steph Richardson, Paul Piers and Gemma Harrand, who are all celebrating today as well. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. Uh, I am going to do a little separate video to go up just so that you're seeing the message on the actual day. So, um, I'm going to be back a little bit later uh, where I'm going to show you all the cake. So, that will be exciting. Ooh. So here is the final slice of my birthday cake. Um, it's a sponge and it's got chocolate on the top and it's got a beautiful chocolate filling. Ooh, yummy, yum, yum. Well, the time is coming up for nearly nine o'clock at night. Um, so it's nearly at the end of my birthday. Um, yeah, it's been a very, very strange day today. <laughs> it's been a very strange day. I haven't been able to go anywhere, um, or do anything like that. Um, what I originally was planning to do, I was hoping to go to the cinema or do something like that. And obviously that's not happened. Um, I think with this whole lockdown thing, it does make you think. It does make you think. And I think it... It will make us all think about stuff in the future and I certainly uh, won't be taking a birthday for granted again today after this. Um, it has been a good day though, actually. Um, I've received, I've received loads of messages and I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who have uh, messaged me on Facebook or on the Selby SOS page or you've sent me a message. Um, so it's like, I appreciate every single message. I've even had a couple of uh, celebrity messages today, actually. Um, I've heard from Anthony Costa, who is in blue. Um, I've heard from Connor Calland. Um, he plays Jordan Price in Hollyoaks. Uh, he's been really good, actually. And for those of you old enough to remember this programme, there was a programme called Airline that was on absolutely years ago. And I received a tweet from Leo Jones. So there you go. So I've done quite well. Um, anyway, so I'm now going to finish this and get this edited. So this has been a document of my birthday, the 14th of April, 2020, where we were in lockdown. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for another edition of Jude's World. Bye, everybody.